welcome back to The List. I'm Donna Rucco. Here's the question. Is Garth Brooks bringing his world tour to Phoenix? Hmm. Brian McElhatton knows just the people to ask and he's getting answers around the valley. Number one, we are with Ben and Matt at 102.5 KNIX, and we're talking about Garth Brooks. Guys, is he coming to town? He's on his big tour. The answer is yes. It just hasn't happened yet. Okay, so so we sh we can expect to see him at some point. I would say we're going to expect to see him probably on multiple nights. That's what he's been doing. He's been going to big cities and playing seven nights in a row. So it'll happen. It's just going to take a while. You know, when it comes to country markets, there's only one bigger than us. That's Houston. Phoenix is the number two country market in the world. We beat Nashville? Yeah. We beat Nashville. We, of course. Well, yeah. Nashville's a small town. Yeah. Garth loves you, Brian. <laughs> Never say that again. <laughs> At number two, the U.S. Airways Center. By now, you've heard the name will soon change. What will it be? No, we're not sure yet. But remember when it was America West Arena? Which reminds us of Chase Field. Back in the day, it was once Bank One Ballpark, the Bob. And Jobbing.com Arena may soon change its name, too. Oh, get ready to call each venue by the wrong name until we get used to this. At number three, a fun time watching the U of A Wildcats take on UNLV. And you see this beach ball bouncing around during the game? Looks like fun, right? Well, it eventually winds up next to this guy who promptly stomps on it. Talk about deflated. I mean, look at the kid next to him. Thumbs down. Let's see it again. Oh, God, see how he just kills the mood? Now, we're not sure what this Wildcat fan has against the concept of fun, but we do know it earned him a lot of attention and not the good kind. Now you're caught up and clued in around the valley. I'm Brian McElhatton.